Three base, but Omaha six two bra one six six ten three thousand. Hey everybody, Ronan here, and I'm diverting a little bit from the uh, topic that I was going to kind of um, focus on, which is the release of the OH58, which uh, released yesterday, um, June 5th, 2024. Today's June 6th, for full disclosure uh, on this. But I wanted to discuss a topic that has been kind of weighing on me heavily uh, lately that I really want to address and address some things that... Uh, have been going on with within the DCS community that I think um, need to be highlighted and need to be discussed. And so, I mean, the cat's out of the bag. If you can see the title and you saw the card, uh, I'm going to be discussing the toxicity within the DCS community. And I wanted to address some things because of uh, what's been transpiring as of late. And I'm, f full disclosure, I'm not this is not coming from a place of anger, hatred, or anything like that. It's more disappointment, I guess you could say. And I wanted to discuss what's been going on with a certain individual within our community who I think is not uh, really beneficial to the community. And I really wanted to kind of highlight some of the things that are going on so that we don't become a toxic community. I've seen, I've been um, into gaming for most of my entire life, uh, being near 40 I have been into gaming for a long time. I've seen a lot of uh, subgroups within the community turn very toxic. I will um, fully disclose that, that that really is kind of disappointing to see happen among people who have a shared passion, such as gaming, uh, such as like the uh, Call of Duty community um, at one point turned really, really toxic. I, I did not partake in that anymore. But I want to say I've been in touch with the um, DCS community through various mediums, through like Facebook, Reddit, Discord, things of that nature. And of course, here on YouTube, where it's been a really, really good community. And I really appreciate the, the whole DCS community. So I wanted to talk about that. I'm not going to be touching on the whole kind of fiasco going on between Rasbam and ED. Um, that's a totally separate issue. If you want me to make comments on that, I totally will uh, create another video where we can have that discussion. Um, the only thing I'm going to say on that is I hope it's resolved amicably. That's a benefit to everybody, including uh, Eagle Dynamics, Rasbam, and the community at large, because I really enjoy the F-15E and I don't want to see it uh, fall by the wayside or become broken after a few updates. So I'm hoping that that gets resolved. But that's not what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about today is some things that have been going on within the community um, from a level of toxicity. Now, that being said, I will say I've been a part of the DCS community for several years. I want to say about a little over four years now. And there's a lot of really good content creators out there that have really inspired me. It's the whole reason I started this channel. Um, it's what got me into DCS. It's what sparked my interest, and I love sharing that interest with like-minded individuals and having those discussions, having having that exploration of this flight sim community that really does kind of help enrich the experience of flight simming because talking with other people, you get different perspectives. You get different um, tidbits and knowledge, and it makes it more fun. You find out about different aspects. I joined a helicopter flying group uh, some years ago, and we flew missions. That's what got me all inspired into this, uh, this whole world of DCS, and then eventually inspired me to make videos. And that's kind of evolved into what I've kind of uh, wanted for this channel is to explore the passions, explore the interests. You know, I, I'm not an exclusive DCS player. I play other video games, a whole plethora of them. And as, you, as anybody who's familiar with my channel knows, I've kind of expanded beyond just DCS into other games and other entertainment mediums, such as uh, movies, because that's another passion of mine is, is film. And so I wanted to address this, not from a place of hatred, not from a place of bitterness or anger, but from a place of um, just deeper understanding and, and kind of a warning, really, um, to kind of highlight what's been going on and and kind of just 
push back and correct the record. And I'm not, I'm not meaning this as a negative criticism. I'm just calling it as I see it. And I, I fully own everything that I say. These are my opinions and my opinions alone. They're not the opinions of others. And when I speak about other people, I'm doing it from a place of respect. So um, that being said, now that that kind of obligatory kind of disclaimer is out, I will fully own everything I say. If there's criticism or backlash or you know any other consequences to what I say today, I'm fully, I fully anticipate owning that. I'm, I'm not going to shy away from it. I'm not going to back down. I own what I say. If you want to have a conversation about it, I am here. I will happily have that from a place of mutual respect and like an adult, because I'm an adult and we should all, you know, treat this, you know, from a mature aspect. So let's get into it. Uh, full disclosure. I will say there ha there are, I want to just make note that there are some really good content creators out there that have been a net positive to the DCS community. And I want to say that I appreciate their contributions to the community. I want to say that a lot of them were, uh, are inspirations to me. I will, uh, particular shout out. I believe it was CW Lemoyne, AKA mover who got me into DCS. I watched one of his videos and I was like, holy cow, I should get into that. Um, and I've, uh, I started my army career, uh, wanting to be an army aviator that didn't work out. Um, that plan kind of, uh, fell apart and, um, that's another story for another time, but I've been very into aviation, uh, my entire life. I've been really into helicopters. That was, like I said, that's the whole reason I joined the army was to fly helicopters and, so I look up to the individuals that uh, provide content based upon that and that have gotten me into it. So I really want to say I appreciate those content creators that have continued, that still do continue to inspire and um, put out really good content. I will say uh, people like Growling Sidewinder, I will give a shout out to him all day. His videos are phenomenal and I am really entertained by those. And that's kind of uh, when I started doing my mission series, that's kind of where I drew a lot of inspiration from is his um, missions and his, you know, his flying. It's really cool. Now that the Kiowa has dropped, I'm definitely going to be putting out some content on that. And I don't know where that's going to go, but we will see. So in regards to that, there's been a bit of a little kind of a dust up lately. And I wasn't going to name names, but I've decided I'm going to because I feel... Uh, I don't want to be that person that does something vague and has one side saying, what are you talking about? Like, I wish I knew more about this. And then the other side going, I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, I don't know why you're not, you know, expounding upon that and going into further detail and actually calling people out. This isn't meant as a call out. This is meant as a correct the record and calling it how I see it. And it's something that I think it's almost kind of like a non-legally binding cease and desist letter. That's what I'm going to consider this video to be. Um, and I understand that one of the individuals involved in this can stand up for themselves, but being a fellow army veteran, I'm, I'm standing with a brother and, um, kind of calling out that this is unfair and uncalled for and unjust. And I really do not like seeing it. It has disappointed me to, a very high degree. And I think it's very, it's, it's not healthy for the community to have this going on. I will say, uh, one of the people that is, uh, at issue here is Casmo, um, who is a former, uh, army aviator. So as a brother veteran, I look up to him. He did the job that I really wanted to do. He flew Kiowas. I, I love the Kiowa. I think it's a phenomenal airframe i was really upset and sad to see it retired in what was that 2015 um i wanted to fly kiowas and i really wanted to after working with them at jrtc in fort polk uh working in um kind of concert with a pair of kiowa helicopters on some operational stuff in a training environment was really really cool and getting to see their capabilities and their missions up front and kind of up close was really cool to see. So, um, Casmo got to live it and he, uh, he is, he's 
put out some really good stuff. He has played a small role in the development of these modules. Um, I know that he is uh, acquainted with Polychop simulations and has uh, played a role. I won't go into detail as to what because I don't know the exact uh, extent and I don't want to put words in other people's mouth, but he has played a role in the development of the Kiowa and he has gotten early access to it prior to its release and put out some videos. And I would consider him, he might be humble enough to say, he, he might disagree and be humble enough to say that he's not, but I would consider him a subject matter expert on the Kiowa and the Apache. So he is coming from a position of knowledge, and I think it's very um, beneficial for the community to have that knowledge shared with them. And then what happened recently, and I will go into detail, and I have some, um, I have some redacted screenshots. I, I've made some careful edits because the intent and purpose of this is not to have the community dogpile on someone or go and brigade this person's uh, Facebook group or to personally attack this individual. I'm only naming his name because uh, this is kind of a call out and um, it, it, it is from a place of uh, looking out for the community and kind of a warning to other people in the community to steer clear of this individual because what he has done um, over the years, and yes, it has been years of this behavior, is just not right. And I, I don't agree with it. I don't think it is um, constructive to the overall DCS community. And I think that this behavior is something that does need to be highlighted and pointed out. To stop kind of beating around the bush, what has happened is following Casmo releasing some of these early uh, Kiowa videos, um, he has been kind of attacked and uh, this person has gone to his Facebook group that he runs, which I call his little echo chamber, to disparage a fellow DCS player and a fairly prominent content creator, which, look, if you've, if you've encountered this group, which I will not name the group, I've seen it firsthand. I've been a victim of it. And I don't, I don't, I don't want to use the word victim because it doesn't weigh on me at all. It's like, oh, oh no, um, I'm, I'm so heartbroken. I don't care. But this guy has, um, full disclosure, his name is Mike Humphrey. Yes, I, I called his name out and I will, I will, I will refer to him. He, he does some pretty, pretty awful and negative comments and he attacks people pretty openly and casually that I think is really unfair and uncalled for, and it is not um, very uh, kind. And recently, the uh, with the Kiowa release being anticipated, he came out um, and posted in his Facebook group about you know the people flying the Kiowa early access uh, before its official release, and he says it's on schedule to launch into early access next week. No pre-order which is false because Polychop has come out continuously throughout their development process to say they're not going to release the Kiowa as an early access module. It is going to be feature complete upon release. And then he disparages Polychop by saying, but trust me, Polyslop will let you down. Purchase at your own peril, which I think is uncalled for. And um, they've thus far, I've only gotten to tinker with the uh, Kiowa a little bit here so far. And so far, it's been pretty good. I do not regret the decision to uh, jump into this module on day one. And he also calls Sven, the uh, CEO of Polychop, a POS. And I think that that is really uncalled for. That's really unfair. And then he has continued. Um, people are talking about how Casmo has done some content on the uh, Kiowa in anticipation of the release. You know, building hype, which I think is a good thing. And I appreciate the content that Casmo has put out thus far on the Kiowa. It has been very helpful and has been very insightful. And somebody made a comment about how Casmo is awesome and they enjoy his content. And, you know, they, they say you have to admit he's got his stuff dialed in. And then Mike comes out and says he does not. He's uninteresting, uninspired, boring, and unpleasant, which I wholly disagree with. And then says, and hair grows out of his forehead whatever that means. Um, but you know, he's like this disparaging comments, I think is, is really unnecessary and uncalled for. I would disagree. Casmo is very interesting. The guy has over 2000 hours in the Kiowa in real life, 
And that's incredibly interesting seeing his take on uh, flying the module and um, some of the videos he did early on in the development process, like his video with Burundus, where they did kind of a, a scout recon kind of mission showing the capabilities and the mission set that the Kiowa engaged in. And uninspired, I think it's very inspired. Boring is not a word I would use to describe any of Casmo's content. It's very exciting. It's very fun to to um, engage in. And he seems like a very pleasant person. Granted, I've never met Casmo in real life. I've never had a discussion with him outside of maybe like one and two, one or two comments here and there, like back and forth. Nothing, nothing of real in any substance. But I. You know, he strikes me as a very pleasant individual. I've seen, and here, here's another comment that uh, Mike made uh, saying that, you know, he's an emotionalist robot, probably a massive depression case. And, and I don't agree with this. He sent an army of his minion goons to attack the replies on one of my YouTube videos because I dared criticize the hind when it first came out and had major issues, whatever. I, I don't agree with that. I don't, I do not. Uh, condone anyone attacking Mike for his opinions um, and his comments. I am just here to say this is what he has said, and this is why I disagree with it. This is why I think it's uncalled for and unfair and unnecessary. But find a photo of him smiling. Did you not see the interview that C.W. Lemoyne did with Casmo years ago where they talked about Casmo's career, how he started as an officer in the Army as a tanker, and then transition to warrant officer to go fly helicopters they're joking and laughing the whole time and i think that right there was it's uncalled for um for mike to say these things about a fellow uh dcs player and i will say that mike runs his facebook group again i will not disclose what the name of it is uh for purposes of i don't want people to go out and do that uh to brigade him but i I was on the receiving end of some of this uh, several years ago when Mike basically, uh, I was a part of this Facebook group because it is a part of the greater DCS community. And like I said, I like to be involved in the community. And he was saying some pretty negative comments about something with, you know, with the way ED runs and the products that they put out. And was like pretty negative about it and very, he said some expletives and whatnot. And all I said was, why so angry? It's literally the only words I uttered was, why so angry? And he then hurled an insult at me and then banned me from his Facebook group and um, blocked me on Facebook and made a note from, it says, note from the admins, push me a little more. And I think that's really uncalled for and very immature coming from a guy who, I mean, what room does he have to criticize a fellow uh, content creator? This guy, this Mike guy is apparently a software developer of sorts. Um, I'm unfamiliar with any of his work and he's coming out like saying that um, Casmo's not really an expert. He doesn't know what he's talking about. His other comments about him have been saying that he, you know, doesn't do any like real content and he's not a master of anything that he fakes his videos with editing, which if you've seen any of Casmo's content, he does not fake videos with editing. He actually does fly the, the modules that he, he, you know, um, showcases on his channel. So he's actually doing it. So I don't know where this guy is coming off saying things like that. But, you know, it's like, and I don't have the uh, screenshot, but there's another comment that Mike made about, you know, come talk to me when you've developed software. Well, I would retort with, Mike, how about you come talk to me when you've logged any freaking time in an aircraft whatsoever. Um, and I understand, like, I, I do understand that flight simulators on your home PC are not a one-to-one -one of the real thing. I get that. I acknowledge that. I recognize that. Um, I have Microsoft Flight Simulator and I have the Honeycomb uh, flight controls. And I know that uh, on MSFS, flying a Cessna 172 on there is not the same as the real thing, which I have over 100 hours on a 172 in real life. 
and I can tell you that it is not one to one. They are somewhat similar in a lot of aspects. And so uh, this, th I know you can't log hours on a home PC flight sim, but they do kind of help you with chair flying and they do kind of give you the, the broad strokes of what flying involves. So this unnecessary, you know, lambasting of other people is really unnecessary and really unfair. You know, I, I'll say that, like, I don't understand why, I guess, is really the, the kind of the question that comes out of it. Like that, you know, and, and I'm not the only one that has been in this Facebook group that has been banned for either saying something in opposition to this person or calling him out. Any dissent or comment on his behavior gets you banned. And really, for me, it's like it's not a loss that weighs on me at all. But, like, I'm glad that Casmo has not um, resorted to engaging in any pithy rhetoric like this guy has. He even invited him onto his stream so they can have a discussion. I have my doubts. Um, I would, it, it would be good to see. But I have my doubts that Mike would be able to come at this uh, from a mature and uh, respectful position. I would extend the same invitation if Mike um, gets wind of this video or sees this video and has some some comments he wants to make to me. I'm I'm all for it as long as you're coming from a position of respect and uh, coming at it like an adult. Uh, like I would assume you are. I've seen his videos. Um, he sounds like an adult. He sounds like he's over 40. And, you know, I, I don't know why a grown man would be um, so bitter and resentful and angry. I don't understand why I would. Um, and that's the whole point of this. Like why I'm bringing this up is that this toxicity is completely unnecessary. This this person is saying like that people don't have the expertise or are not good at flying a flight simulator uh, when there's, you know, actual evidence that they are. You can watch their YouTube videos. Uh, cue the obligatory eyebrow raise, like seriously. And so what is the point? I really want to know what is the point of all this that, you know, if you, if you, you know, the fact that he runs his Facebook page, like a dictatorship, um, you get a brutal tongue lashing for saying anything out of line and then banned doesn't make sense. He has to have the last word and ban you, which is really underhanded. And I, I don't understand the need to generate drama for the sake of generating drama. I don't understand why this person is so angry. We all have a shared interest in, in DCS. We are all part of the same community. I don't understand, uh, kind of in the words of Rodney King, can't we all just get along? I really don't understand why this person talks trash about other people and is so resentful. It's really immature. And I don't understand the point of being so toxic. And I would like to understand. I would like to spark a dialogue as to why anybody would do something like this. Why anybody would act this way. If you don't like the community, don't participate. Like you literally run a Facebook page about DCS and then shut the door on people because you disagree. That doesn't sound very mature or level-headed. And I really don't understand why he feels it necessary to do this because it's not necessary. So I know like I'm going against my own advice, but don't feed the trolls. Um, but I'm highlighting this for awareness purposes to kind of detail the drama that's completely unnecessary and we don't need to partake in it. And I feel like really like people like this should be kind of shunned from the community not attacked. I don't I don't condone any attacks on this person or going after him. Just straight up. I would I would say if this continues, it should prompt people to just ignore him and move on. Um I don't think he should be we shouldn't include this kind of harmful and hateful rhetoric into our community. I will say though that what is I find absolutely hilarious is that there's an alternative Facebook group that was created to not only exclude this guy, but also kind of lampoon him, which if you know, you know, it's, uh, it's absolutely hilarious. But the fact that that is that, that became a necessity out of all this is really telling. And so 
really in conclusion, I just want to say like it's not worth it. And I, I really don't understand. I want to seek to further understand. I, I would love it if this person would kind of have a change of heart and come back into the community and be a little more positive and maybe put forth some some dialogue that's actually constructive instead of just constantly negativity and you know uh, disparaging towards other people because really the insults are unnecessary and the negative comments are completely unwarranted and i really think that that's kind of not what we're about and is further leading to this kind of division among people on this planet that really we don't need anymore we don't need the negativity and the division so in the end the toxicity is just not worth it and i think we we can all do better and i really um again like i said if this mike individual wants to have a conversation i'm up for it i'm totally there i will i will have a conversation i'll have a conversation with anybody if if you have negative comments towards me calling this person out if you have criticism i accept any you know backlash i accept any consequences for my for my actions i'm a grown adult i can handle it i just you know i invite anybody to an open respectful dialogue on this and so we can we can move forward and grow and be better so sorry this ran long um almost half hour video here that i just i didn't intend to be so long but i really needed to get this stuff off my chest really needed to say these things about this community because it is a community that i enjoy being a part of i enjoy partaking in i enjoy the participation and the back and forth where we can kind of discuss the issues and and our passion and our love for this this flight simulator so Anyway, new content will be coming out. Um, I promise as soon as I can get my uh, my stuff figured out, figuring out the uh, OH-58 and flying and um, when I have some free time uh, with my busy schedule. But thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate everyone. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Subs don't forget to subscribe. Uh, it really helps out the channel. And I look forward to talking with you all in the next one. Have a great day.